actually uses kind of a springboard for our latest project uh, for families called Here Comes Science, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it came out, it came out about a week ago, and uh, if half the people here actually bought it, it would completely change our lives. We're not, we're not like trying to make any kind of demands on you guys, but I don't know if you've noticed anything about the music industry, but stinks. So, uh, so feel free to go to uh, uh, iTunes or Rhapsody or, no, it's not on Rhapsody. In fact, the only people on Rhapsody are on Friendster as well. So, anyway, back to the incredibly long story with no punchline at the end. Uh, that song, we made, this, we made this project and we fact-checked everything because we didn't want to feel the wrath, the stereo wrath of both uh, creationists and the scientific community at the same time. So, so we, we, we pretty carefully fact-checked it, we, we thought, except that last song, which is actually from an encyclopedia, so we figured we were safe. But in fact, since the 60s when that song was written, things have moved on in the world of the scientific community and they no longer actually Everything about that, the, the song you just heard is pretty much factually correct, except the part where John was clearly lying in the middle. But, <laughs> but, the title of the song is, Why Does the Sun Shine? In parentheses, the sun is a mass of incandescent gas. And it turns out that the real key problem is, the sun is not a mass of incandescent gas. <laughs> and we had already actually finished, we had finished the video, it was really expensive. And we really didn't want to take it off the record because the video was really expensive. <laughs> so uh, we actually wrote an answer song to our previous effort and we're gonna perform it for you now. This song is called, and by the way people, no refunds. So, uh, this, so this is the deal. This song is called, Why Does the Sun Really Shine? The sun is a miasma of incandescent plasma. Yeah. 